Hey everybody, uh, just thought I'd do a little short video on um, just the 12 bar blues, but uh, a way to approach it uh, is using extended uh, chords. So we're, you know, normally you would play a, well, you could play a power chord or some kind of variation on uh, tortures, you know, a lot of guys refer to that because your hand's in that stretch position all the time um, or or chords you know so they might go a 12 bar blues like that so uh, you know everybody's comfortable with that and uh, and it, you know if you happen to be a little tired of that and you want to break out and do something a little different then what I'm saying is you could extend the chord so you're going to use notes of the chord other than just the seventh chords so there's you know the essence of a seventh chord is the tritone so we've got the uh, the three here I'm in the key of B flat so we've got the three here which is a D and an A flat is the flat seven of that chord well the fifth is up here and then you've got here you've got the 13 so you get that kind of sound um, the reason, like, you know, that's five, this would be six, uh, is it's past the octave, and the upper extensions are usually referred to, you know, when you add an octave to the, um, the interval. So if I go from the major scale, just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, eight, and then there's your octave, so there's your flat seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, flat seven, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, which is the same note as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, just an octave higher. So that's the 6, that's the 13. That's where the name of the chord comes from. So I'm going to be using extensions of the chord. So we've got, you know, notes like the 13, the 5, I might show a sharp 5 in. You know, you can add a ninth of the chord, which again is, if that's B flat, this would be the second, C, but up an octave would be the nine. So I can play a G7, or B flat seven, with a nine in it, or I could add a flat nine, or I could add a sharp nine. And, you know, they sound quite tense on their own, but in the in the scheme of things they sound really really great and they're notes that you probably wouldn't hit on if you're gonna stick to playing pentatonically or again if you're just playing these grooves straight ahead like that so so what I'll do now uh, next is uh, just set up a track and then I'll play just a uh, two times through a 12 bar so the first time I'll do it just straight chords so you can see I'm just using the chords I'm going to be using are the uh, B flat, so that's the first chord, and then the four chord would be E flat. And again, I'm making them all dominant sevens. You could, you know, do this with major chords or minor chords as well. But I'm playing a dominant seven kind of blues. So the one chord is B flat, the four chord is E flat, and then the one chord. And then the, the five chord would be F seven. The four chord would be E flat, and then we're back to B flat. Now, instead of just straight ahead like a, a normal 12 bar, I'm gonna add a little, what's called a turnaround. So at the end of it, it's gonna go uh, from the B flat to a G7, to the two, which is the, uh, the G7's the six, and then I'm gonna go to the two minor, C minor, and then to the F7, which is the five chord, that's gonna come back to B flat. And then it's gonna quickly do that turnaround again. So it's gonna go B flat, G7, C minor, F7. And you see how that wants to tend to see for that to go to uh, home, to B flat. Okay, so I'll just set up the track and then uh, play that for you.
so there you have it. So those upper extensions are creating, you know, hopefully some nice melodies, whatever you happen to come with at the time um, that you're playing. There's lots of choices uh, in creating different melodies. So, you know, you're never going to be bored because you're always hunting for something that maybe you didn't do before or uh, you're just going to be playing something different because it's a different day. So instead of doing, you know, nothing wrong with this or, you know, just playing chords, all that stuff has its place. But if you just, if you've been playing this kind of way for a long time and you want to break out of it, the way to, to do that is to get into extending the chord and uh, also chord inversions are, uh, are really handy too to spruce things up a bit. So, uh, yeah, hope that's been helpful and uh, feel free to get a hold of me. Contact me on uh, just on the thread here on Facebook or uh, give me a shout, private message me, whatever you like. And uh, I'll straighten things out if you're a little bit foggy on them and have fun playing and uh, keep exploring. Awesome. Cheers. <laughs>